Scientists have adapted stomach cells to produce insulin. Stem cells derived from human stomach tissue can be reprogrammed into insulin-secreting pancreatic-like cells known as beta cells. In experiments, scientists showed that transplants of small groups of such cells reversed the symptoms of diabetes in mice. Insulin is a hormone that regulates blood glucose levels. Without it, blood glucose levels become too high, leading to diabetes and its many complications. High glucose levels are caused by a defect in the functioning of the pancreatic beta cells that produce insulin. In type 1 diabetes, the beta cells are destroyed by the immune system. As a result, the ability to produce insulin disappears. In type 2 diabetes, tissue sensitivity to insulin is reduced. As a result, the body demands increased insulin production, which exceeds the capacity of beta cells. As a result, the beta cells do not function properly and the body's insulin levels decrease. Although it is still being produced, type 2 diabetes is the most common form of diabetes. In a study published in Nature Cell Biology, researchers at Vial Cornell Medicine in the U.S. have shown that human stomach stem cells can be directly transformed into cells similar to pancreatic beta cells with strikingly high efficiency. Scientists have been able to take stomach stem cells and modify them to produce insulin in response to increased sugar levels. Under typical circumstances, Insulin secretion in this case is handled by the beta cells of the pancreas. However, in people suffering from diabetes, they are either damaged or die altogether. Which of course affects the condition of the body. Interestingly, at the embryonic stage, the cells of both the pancreas and the stomach are adjacent to each other. So some possibilities could be expected here. After all, the stomach has its own cells that are able to secrete hormones. Hence the idea to study stomach cells in order to find a potential treatment for diabetes. In addition, by collecting such cells from a person suffering from diabetes, the risk of rejection of the structures created on their basis could be eliminated. While this all looks very promising by design, Scientists have been unsuccessful for years in reprogramming stomach stem cells to secrete insulin in response to rising sugar levels. They did this by activating three proteins responsible for gene expression. In further research, the cells began to show sensitivity to glucose, confirming that the researchers are on the right track. But does this solution work? Researchers decided to test this by implanting the modified cells into rodents suffering from a mouse model of diabetes. First of all, they functioned extremely stable throughout the entire observation period. And most importantly, they were able to not only stop the progression, but also reverse the effects of diabetes. There is no need to convince anyone that this can be a huge opportunity for diabetics. However, there will still be some challenges to face. First of all, the researchers emphasize the fact that there are some important differences between human and mouse stomach tissues that will need to be taken into account. In addition, it will be necessary to ensure that the new insulin-secreting tissues themselves become more resistant to attacks by the immune system. This is a proof-of-concept study and gives us a solid foundation for developing therapies for type 1 and type 2 diabetes based on patients' own cells, said study co-author Dr. Jojo of Vial Cornell Medicine. Alpha Star Artificial Intelligence beat 99.8%. StarCraft 2 players. The artificial intelligence known as Alpha Star, created by Google-linked company DeepMind, turned out to be better than 99.8%. 
players in the real-time strategy game StarCraft II. Alpha Star has advanced to the rank of Grandmaster, placing herself among the top players. In recent years, machine learning specialists have shown that AI algorithms can dominate games that represent more traditional tests of human skill. The duels of algorithms with the masters of their disciplines in various logical and strategic games have been going on for years. It started with defeating chess master Garry Kasparov in 1997. The leading poker players also failed to deal with artificial intelligence. I. Go masters have also fallen. Now comes another frontier. Artificial intelligence is at the forefront of StarCraft II players. StarCraft II is an extremely popular real-time strategy game set in science fiction. Players manage resources, build infrastructure and create huge armies to defeat the enemy. Players have to compromise between short-term and long-term profits. Professionals play at a dizzying pace performing over 300 actions per minute. The description of research on Alpha Star was published in the journal Nature. The machine learning techniques underlying DeepMind's artificial intelligence are based on artificial neural networks that learn to recognize patterns from large datasets rather than receiving specific instructions. The use of artificial intelligence to create a sequence of complex predictions can be useful in real-world applications, such as climate modeling or operating autonomous vehicles. Since computers broke Go, chess and poker, StarCraft has emerged as the next big challenge. The complexity of the game is much greater than chess as players control hundreds of units. The game is also more complicated than Go because there are 1026 possible choices for each move. In addition, players have less information about their opponents than in poker, said David Silver of DeepMind, co-creator of Alpha Star. The first clashes between Alpha Star and professional StarCraft players took place in December 2018. In a series of test skirmishes in the laboratory, the algorithms defeated two top players. However, this demonstration was not a fair fight. The algorithms had superhuman speed and precision. They also had an overview of the entire map. Before the team of researchers released Alpha Star from the lab to the European StarCraft II servers. They reduced the reflexes of the artificial intelligence to human level in order to make the games fairer. He also evened the odds by depriving Alpha Star of the map preview. In July, players were notified that they could opt in to a potential fight against the AI. In order to extract reliable data from the experiments, scientists from DeepMind masked Alpha Star's identity. StarCraft II players can compete as one of three races. Each of them has different characteristics. DeepMind has created three versions of Alpha Star, each of which specializes in one of these races. The algorithms were trained on the records of almost a million games played by human players. The three versions then played against each other and against other Ash who acted as sparring partners. The training lasted continuously for 44 days and thousands of games were played. Alpha Star's algorithms have been perfected by playing alone. Then they played against each other and other Ash. Finally, they were allowed to play against human players in online games. All three versions in a short time found themselves in the top league, reaching the Grandmaster level. Artificial intelligence turned out to be better than 99.8% of players. DeepMind representatives admitted that there are still about 100 people on European servers who can defeat Alpha Star.